Martin. Sheffield United often forced back as they looked to regain top spot in the promotion race, but Steve Foley failed to punish them. Swindon gained plenty of possession and uh, they often used it well with Alan McLaughlin's excellent passing, a feature like that. But the Duncan Shearer, Steve White strike force was never quite clicking. Then disaster for a home side looking to win to gain credibility as a promotion force. As the build-up takes place, their goalkeeper Fraser Digby comes out sniffing danger. Defender John Gittins goes in with Peter Duffield, but the ball's in the Swindon net, and Duffield, I'm afraid, with a broken leg. Sheffield fans celebrated, but uh, Duffield's going to have to have another painful experience tomorrow having that broken leg reset. After half-time, Ozzy Ardiles, the Swindon manager and coach Chick Bates, looking for an improvement, and the old long ball style, often combined with inventive movement, from Steve White there and Tom Jones. But once again, Duncan Shearer can't beat an excellent goalkeeper in Simon Tracy. Tracy was to rescue Sheffield again when uh, Tom Jones's long pass finds White reacting alertly and getting a good strike on target. Then let's freeze the action 15 minutes from time because Sheffield are about to increase their lead. John Gannon's free kick is flighted. Mark Morris beats the home defence. Swindon's long Sheffield's long distance support had seen their team defend with organisation and inspiration and then make the most of limited scoring scope. Finally, Tom Jones was to beat Simon Tracy before the end with a superb long range shot, but it ended up against the crossbar. So it was Swindon naught when they should have scored at least the two goals that Sheffield went home with. So a disappointing week, I'm afraid, for Swindon. Uh, two home defeats, leaving them down in ninth spot when they were looking for a move towards that promotion-chasing pack, Alistair. Well, how worrying is it for Ozzy Ardiles, his team appearing to go off the boil with the cup coming up? This is true, it is, it is a worry. Uh, um, I thought that they made chances yesterday, as you saw, but they're not taking them. They uh, made defensive errors against Bournemouth. Ozzy says he's gone home to think about it. Uh, he's not the man to panic. I don't think he'll be making too many changes just yet. Of course, a good cup run means money to the clubs, doesn't it? Indeed, and Bristol City, of course, who looked as though they had an easy job against Fulham on Saturday, but found Fulham, uh, although riddled with flu and having to play the manager and the assistant manager out of the office into the team, City only got home by two goals to one against them. So uh, I'm liking the look of Swindon against... Uh, uh, coming to Ashton Gate in that cup, I think it's going to be an absolute cracker. At first sight, Swindon looked the stronger outfit, but as City proved last season, they do well against teams from higher up. Well, so City v Swindon guarantees at least one of our league clubs in round four with a chance of bringing a top club to the West. Uh, Gloucester will have QPR, who are in 13th place there in Division 1, if they can win tomorrow's replay. And Norwich, currently way up there at 4th place in Division 1, very likely to be coming to play at Exeter next round.